Slap for VDL, EU panics over explosive power of Brexit as Brexit UK will take the lead. Facing the current tense situation, Brexit has been taking full advantage of the opportunity to take the lead and crush the EU. The EU talks about level playing field, so a question arises for EDF, the French state-owned energy company. How could the EDF be forced to limit energy gains in France to 4% and then profit from Britain with a 50% price increase to cover the loss? And if UK energy companies are subsidised our EU enemies will take us to court. The negative comments are real. The UK situation would of course be worse without a Brexit. Whatever people's reasons for voting for Brexit, economics is certainly not one of them. Indeed, according to an analyst, Brexit Britain will exceed the Eurozone economy by 2022. As a result of the Covid epidemic, economist Julian Jessup has made this prediction. In part, the predicted rise is due to the recovery of countries from different circumstances, as supply starts to meet demand again. Not hard to do, Eurozone is collapsing, I expected North Korea to overtake Eurozone, it was a mess, we got out just in time. On the other hand, I'm not saying leaving the EU will have an immediate positive effect on the economy. I don't think any rational person would claim it would have such an effect. We've been in the EEC EU for almost half a century and we've been out of it for exactly 15 months. There will of course be a period of disruption when making such a monumental transition. We will have to see what happens in the long run and that will depend on how much we are managed on Brexit. That said, I never voted to leave the EU for economic reasons and I would vote the same way even if it came at the cost of an economic impact. It's something you never seem to grasp. In a post on Twitter, Mr Jessup wrote, after a bigger fall in 2020 and initially a weaker recovery, due to Brexit the UK caught up with the Eurozone in the last quarter of 2021. I expect the UK to pull ahead in 2022. Comparing GDP in Q4 2021 with the pre-Covid level, Q4 2001, France is still ahead, chapeau. But on this basis at least, the UK has done better than Italy, Germany and Spain. Germany, on the other hand, is one step behind the recession it has twice. Remember you EU operators and appeasers said the UK was going to go into recession after Brexit and it never happened, at least not with the UK. The EU has fallen into recession twice since Brexit and is looking at a third. So if the EU doesn't punish us for Brexit, red tape etc., where will the UK GDP with the rest of Europe be? Yes, we will lead Europe. EU won't stop us, we will cross EU without Kanzuk home kingdom. The EU has entered a period of serious crisis without the UK. And this is the price they pay for it. The cost of tyranny and corruption.